Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can quickly and easily create an email forwarder within your Gmail account. Now, once you've logged into your Google account, and in this case, I've logged in using my Gmail account, then you come on over here and you click on Gmail, if you haven't already done so. And once you're in your Gmail account, you come on over here to this little gear thingy, click on that, you got a drop down that shows up, go to settings, click on that. And right up here, you want to go to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Click on that. Click on add a forwarding address. Type in the address that you want all of your Gmail that comes to this particular email account. Type in the address you want those to be forwarded to. Click on next. See how simple that was? Now, that's how easy it is. So uh, just using this as a demonstration, you want to make sure that the address you put in that forwarding box is one that you own. But you can see here, though, that you can also resend that or you can remove it and put in a different one, which naturally, if I were doing this for real, that's what I would do. So once you've confirmed that by clicking on the link that was sent to that email address, then all of the incoming email to this particular Gmail account will now be sent to that email account doesn't have to be gmail it can be any email account that you own now why would you want to have your emails forwarded well, several different reasons my main reason is that i have several different gmail accounts and this way i do not have to log into each and every one of those gmail accounts to see if i've got new mail i log into one main gmail account or non-gmail account for that matter and all of my emails can be seen right there again whether they're gmail accounts or non-gmail accounts and whenever I reply to the people that sent me the email, it's being replied from that particular email account, not the main one. So that way I'm not confusing the people that sent me that email to gardenmaker.com at gmail.com. I'm not confusing them by them receiving an email from joe at gmail.com. They're receiving an email from this email address even though I'm composing that email from joe at gmail.com. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on creating forwarding email addresses. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great day.